Hi, this is for the most popular metal roofs for homes. I just wanted to show you a metal roof starting off. This is Paul Dysart with Alpha Rain, and I wanted to talk to you about what the most popular roofing styles are available. So uh, I'll go back to this picture, and uh, you can see this is a standing seam uh, metal roof. And this is the most popular metal roof in Virginia, anyways, in this region. Uh, Central, Northern Virginia, it all started with uh, Thomas Jefferson down in Charlottesville. Um, he was a big proponent of, of metal. And uh, this whole area, Mid-Atlantic, um, <clears throat> this type of metal roofing you'll see prevalent in old homes, farm homes, uh, colonial homes. Um, we even... Uh, the average age home we work on is 100 years old, and uh, we did one that the house was built in 1897, and it had the original tin roof on it uh, that was similar to this, obviously made with tin. Uh, this is steel. But um, definitely the standing seam metal roofs are the most popular. Uh, anything Virginia or further north, you have to worry about snow. Once you get into the snow country, um, snow regions. Uh, this is a double walk panel and it will uh, seal compared to other metal roofs better and won't allow for leaking to happen. A snap lock panel is something that you're going to also hear that looks similar to this. It has the raised seam and a snap lock panel uh, is not rated uh, for water tightness like a double lock is. So now we're getting a little off topic. That happens sometimes. There's so many different things with metal roofs. There's always more information than you want to hear. And I probably just gave you a little bit more than you wanted to hear. Um, sorry about that phone. This is a live recording, so phones do ring. <laughs> um, so I want to go back to uh, a couple other roofs that uh, are popular uh, in different parts of the country. Still, so that's a standing seam uh, roof. And then we get into, okay, this is actually a metal roof. This is a stone-coated metal roof. This is one we did. Actually, all the pictures I'm going to show you are ones we did. And um, it looks like shingles. Uh, so if you live in an area, in a region, uh, let's say an HOA, if you live in an HOA, um, you probably might not be able to, and I'm going to go back to the staining seam metal roof, you might not be able to put on a roof like this. Um, they might not allow it. However, if you have uh, a shingle roof that looks similar to this, you might be able to go back with metal uh, that's in a stone-coated form or another shingle type. This just happens to be stone-coated. Uh, this is also another stone coated roof that we did. Um, these are long. These actually have a lifetime warranty on the stone granules. And um, here's another one. Now this is a uh, kind of looks like a slate. It's kind of an in between. It's it's a it's a good look. This is one we did. It's a stone coated uh, roof that kind of has uh, almost like a tile slate uh, look to it. So those are some options. Um, you also have copper roofs. Uh, the copper roofs that we'd install. Um, are going to be like the staining seam. Now I just switched over to this picture. This is actually a stone, another stone coated roof that looks like barrel tile. Uh, this was actually uh, a very old home. It had the original uh, metal roof. I'll have to dig up the picture. I don't have the uh, the old picture, but it actually had uh, ten shingles that looked very similar to this. And so she chose this to keep the historic value of the house. I mean, it's a pretty look. Um, so. I've showed you a couple roofs uh, now. This is actually, <laughs> I'll get into this later. Um, don't tell anybody. But this is a, a shingle roof. This is a metal shingle roof. This is one that we designed. Uh, we're going through and redesigning it. Uh, there was a couple things um, that we didn't uh, like for mass production. Uh, a couple of raised seams here. We're going to fix some of that. And we're going to actually offer this style, similar to this anyways. It's going to have a little different design. Uh, it's going to be an, an installed price that's similar to what a uh, mid to upper range asphalt roof is. And it's going to have a 40-year warranty on the paint alone. So we're going to knock the socks off of uh, this region once we get that available. So um, I'm going to switch back to me real quick. And um, 
Okay, what I wanted to uh, say real quick is there's a couple questions that I want to ask you when you're talking about styles. And, and I'll just be honest with you. There is so many. You're like, hey, you left out that he didn't talk about this type of tile roof. I found this on the internet. There's hundreds, uh, even maybe thousands of different types and styles of metal roofing. Uh, so there's no way that I can hit them all. I'm just going to kind of hit basically the pictures that we've installed, talk about some of them, some of the styles. Uh, there's barn panels. There's hundreds of different types of barn panels, commercial panels. There's sidewall flashing. I could just go on forever. There's, there's just never ends. Um, but I want to talk to you about when you're looking, uh, you found this video somehow, probably in a search maybe, and you're wanting to understand, okay, I want to know about the most popular. So I showed you really some of the most popular ones in the nation for sure in Virginia. Virginia. But here's some questions that I want to ask you. There's four questions I'm going to have. And um, first off, do you live in a historic district, an HOA, or any other covenant community that might prohibit you from installing a certain type of roof? Um, sometimes uh, we'll actually get called to an area or a neighborhood, and I'll actually tell the customer on the phone, hey, you live in an HOA. They don't accept certain type of metal roofs. Oh, but I really want one. Well, I can't change the HOA. That's something that you're going to have to do. And uh, honestly, you as the homeowner, if you live in an HOA and they don't allow a certain type of roof, um, and I'm, I'm going to switch over. I want to talk about this just a little bit, the styles that might be allowed. I did, uh, did talk about it just a, a brief amount. Um, this style, the staining seam, uh, that is not going to be allowed in a lot of HOAs that have shingles. However, you might get into uh, this style right here. You might be able to install something like this. So go look at your HOA documents. Make sure that you're not in a um, type of covenant or especially historic district. Okay, I'm going to switch back. So if you're in a historic district, um, you might be able to go back with that. It just all depends. So you really have to check it out. Do your research uh, for your area. And so go, moving on to the next question, what do you like? Okay. Um, I'll install anything you want. If I can buy it and we are confident uh, we can install it with the quality that we uh, have, I'll, I'll install it for you if you live in my area. So, um, but so what do you like? Uh, do you like the, the staining scene? Do you, do you like these roofs um, that are uh, historic? Uh, this, these are one of the first main popular styles of metal roofing. Um, they're just some really beautiful uh, homes that um, have these on them. They look good with a log cabin. Uh, if you like that, that's great. Uh, we have some customers that don't like that, and that's fine. Um, I don't have to live in the house. I don't have to uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Ah, I didn't really want that type of roof. Um, so here, here's a question that leads into that. Um, should you keep up with the Joneses? A lot of times that term is, is made for, I'm just buying something because somebody else has it. Uh, it's not exactly what this uh, question is. It's, um, should you keep up with the Joneses in the neighborhood and the styles that they have? Uh, another way to put the question is, what type of metal roof will resell the best in my area? So um, that is actually a great question. Um, let, let's just be honest. If you install a hideous roof, uh, let's say it's 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 hot pink or purple. Uh, we, those those colors are all custom, so don't ask me for. It'll be an insane price. Okay, <laughs> we could get it, but if you do something like that, honestly, I actually have had a, a customer install a, a purple roof um, I, uh, in an area <laughs> that I do work. Um, so that might not resell very well. I'm just saying, okay, if you like purple, I'm not, I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying that when you go to resell that, you're going to have to find that person that really likes purple. Um, we've had uh, customers. Um, let me look real quick. I've got one. Here we go. Okay, see, this is a bright red roof. Looks good with a log cabin. Some might not think it looks good, but it's pretty, pretty. Uh, you know, the, the log cabin look, right? Um, we had somebody install a roof like that on their home, and some people might not like that. Uh, I know you might be shocked, right? Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, you, you got to really think about these things. Uh, so if the Joneses represent your neighbors, what do your neighbors have on their houses? Do they have styles like, like this? Uh, you might want to consider purchasing if you're not going to live in your home forever, but you want a long-lasting roof. Purchase something that's not going that's going to resell 
well. Uh, we work in a neighborhood. Um, let me go back to um, oh, another log cabin. So we got the Hartford Green. Hartford Green, dark greens, uh, earth tones, black, um, dark bronze, all of those types of roofs. Um, all of those types of roofs are going to resell pretty good. It's a pretty uh, neutral color. Um, dark greens, uh, like I said, the dark bronze, the black, some of the grays. Those are going to be where, you know, 80, 90 percent of the people like that. Uh, maybe they're not crazy about it, but it fits with the neighborhood and it's OK. That's that that look. Um, but look, let's talk about some of the other styles of roofs also. So if you in install a um, let's say uh, this is a pretty neutral. Let's go to this one. OK, if you install this type of roof on your home and you live in the middle of a neighborhood that has shingle asphalt shingles on it the resale uh it's gonna be tough i mean it, it might be hard for you to get your money back out of that so just things to consider um all right so what's the different uh what is the cost of the different styles of metal roofing that's a great question and it's something that you you have to consider um all right so let's start with the staining seam i'm going to go back to the lot one of the log cabins uh all right so staining seam metal roof um that is going to be um for us this is, so i'm going to talk about it from our prices from an installer other installers have different prices on different roofs so you're gonna have to check with them for us if you ask us to install a staining seam metal roof uh, a example would be that it would be two to three times more than an asphalt roof. If it's the cheapest asphalt shingle roof that you can install, uh, this metal roof would be three times more expensive. If it's a mid-grade type of architectural shingle, um, this would be probably two times more expensive. That's a range for you, okay? Um, now, this compared to other roofs, let's talk about uh, this one, okay? Um, so the, I have to order these in individual shingles made by the manufacturer. They're very expensive. You got to order all this trim. If you look at my mouse, you can see where I'm pointing all these trim pieces, the side pieces. I can't make any of that myself. Uh, it's all made in a factory. They have big markups on it. Uh, just telling you the truth. Uh, these are very expensive for me to purchase. And, uh, they are also labor intensive. You got to make sure everything is perfect with all these. You can even tell that it looks like this roof slanting a little bit. So we have to do different things to install it correctly to make it look right. Um, so the, these are going to be even more expensive than the staining seam metal roofs for an installed price. Um, I don't have, there, there was one other type. It's a Victorian stamp shingle, and I don't have that picture uh I'll have to do that another time, but that that one will be even more expensive than the the stone coated. Okay, um, let, I'll come back to this picture that we're on. Um, copper staining seam. Okay, here's a copper roof. It's faded. We did this, and um, copper is so expensive right now. Copper it would be one of the most expensive metal roofs that you can uh, install. Um, it goes on the same way, but the material cost for me is about five times more. This copper, to buy the copper, is five times more than to buy this material that's pre-painted. Um, so longevity, copper will last long. It's soft. Uh, to be honest, in your lifetime, it doesn't. It's, you're literally... Uh, I, Hate to be morbid, but you're gonna you're gonna die before even this roof fails. Uh, you're going to and compared to a copper roof, okay, uh, copper will last two or three hundred years. The Notre Dame Cathedral uh, still has some of the original shingles on it. It was installed in like um, don't quote me, eighteen eighty something like that. Um, and it's, they still got some of the shingles on they last forever. The copper does, uh, copper soft is going to get dented with hail real easily compared to a standing seam roof. Uh, it's not going to get dented. So getting back to the, the, what are the different costs and styles? Now I want to go back to, so I've gone over a couple. Okay. Uh, there's no way I can go over them all. Um, let me just do stone coated slate. This one's going to be in the same neighborhood as this one. As far as cost, more expensive than standing seam. Uh, these are going to be a little more expensive than standing seam. It costs more to, for me to buy the material, believe it or not. Uh, the install is about the same as standing seam, maybe a little quicker. Mm, not really quicker. So anyways, so that's what that is. But I want to talk to you about this one. 
and this one. Okay, the, these are the the uh, preliminary, uh, call it the forever shingle that we've designed. We've installed uh, on three different homes now, some aerial shots. And these are, um, the way they're made, we're able to install them about just as fast as uh, regular shingles. Um, right now we're having a design done that's going to look uh, a little more aesthetically pleasing, we hope. And it's going to have the same warranty. Uh, it'll be a 40-year warranty on the paint. And it's going to install, it's going to be about half the cost of the staining seam. I'm going to go back to the log cabin. Okay, so half the cost of that. It's going to, that'll be in the range of a mid-grade to expensive shingle. Uh, and it'll last uh, 40 years. So, um, but just on the paint, it'll last 40 years. So, um, these were some customers that we did and, uh, it was, uh, last year actually. So anyways, um, so those are different styles, uh, depending on how you answer the four questions will be, um, kind of which, which way you lean, uh, some variables, whether you have HOA just as a recap, uh, but really goes back to what you like. Uh, you can't put, do it with a HOA. Maybe you should move. Um, I did. <laughs> I do not live in an HOA. I personally installed a uh, standing seam roof on my house. That's what I like. And uh, no HOA to deal with. All the rest of the homes in the neighborhood had uh, asphalt shingles. But um, I'll, I'll do another video on it. I was going to talk about real quick about uh, the resale of homes. But that's a whole other topic. I want to go ahead and close out this video. Um, resale on homes, they say that you'll get about 70% of what you pay on the upgrade to the metal when you sell it. Uh, I believe that's true because it happened to me on my home. And that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to uh, don't want to get into that whole another video there. So if you are... Um, looking and you're in Virginia and you're kind of curious, uh, give us a call. Got my number down there and our web address. If you're not in the area, but want to check out uh, our website, we got different pictures and different videos also. Thanks for watching.